a legendary keeper, a free kick and penalty specialist. But behind this smile hides a real revolutionary. With his direct way of speaking, his antics, and his bad behavior, the former keeper is one of the craziest and most atypical players in football history. As he changed over time, he also managed to change Paraguay. On the margins of society, he was first noticed for his talent, then for his desire to force change. Today, El Chila simply wants to become Paraguay's president. Jose Luis Felix Chilivert Gonzalez will never be forgotten, for good reason. He was born on July 27, 1965 in Luque, Paraguay. He started football late in life, when he was 15, but he quickly developed a passion for the game. From then on, the machine was in motion. Jose Luis made his professional debut with Sportivo Luqueño, and the young goalie quickly proved to be outstanding. His skills were so good that his future seemed mapped out in the football universe. Energetic, solid, El Chila had everything it takes to shine as a goalkeeper. But he wasn't just gifted when it came to defending his goal. No! Chilivert was also a pro with the ball at his feet, free kicks and penalties included. He scored over 62 goals over the course of his career. Absolutely crazy and unusual numbers for a goalkeeper. Only the Brazilian Rogério Ceni has done better. Hey, oh my goalers. We've noticed that around 70% of you watch our videos, but don't follow the channel. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video and your football knowledge becomes unbeatable. Chilivert left his mark wherever he went to the extent that he's considered by some as the best in history in his position. He reached the summit of his art in 1998, when he had the French team worried at home during the World Cup they were hosting. Despite losing, his memorable performance earned him the respect of many greats. Barthes came and hugged me and congratulated me for my match. He asked for my jersey. Bernard Lama then came to ask for it as well. They came into our locker room so that I could give them one each. Better still, it was El Chila's entire team that left their mark on history at the time. Before 1998, people had never heard of Paraguay. Our biggest source of pride is that we showed our country and the rest of the world that when a team is united, anything is possible. This match taught me that you shouldn't dramatize things in life. The Albirroja's last line of defense strangely wasn't upset about the defeat. When Blanc scored the golden goal, we were eliminated in a single blow. I went to see my teammates lying on the ground to pick them up one by one. We played an amazing match. We fought until the end. We had nothing to be ashamed of. I told them I was proud of them because we gave our all. What I remember is that in 1998, we were knocked out by the champions. These images were seen around the world. From then on, Jose Luis Chilivert wasn't simply a goalkeeper. In many people's eyes, he was an exemplary captain gifted with an incredible sense of pride. However, he was even more well-known for his winner's mentality, and the Paraguayan sometimes struggled to keep his feet on the ground. He sometimes had to get airborne, but that was only to foil opposition attacks. But off the pitch, there was another side to Chilivert. He was the source of a number of witty remarks, in particular about players he'd faced. You couldn't get close to Balak. His smell was terrible. He smelled like a goat. He should have used deodorant or lemon. But maybe it was a tactic, who knows? Very self-confident, he was never afraid to show off about himself. I'm crazy and macho. I play for money, not for pleasure. And I'm the best goalkeeper in the world. His wild child side would sometimes spin out of control. Like in 2001, when he spat in Roberto Carlos's face. He even admitted that he'd do it again a thousand times if he had the chance. Strangling, kicking, punching. He went after his opponents for no reason on a number of occasions, which kind of tarnished his image as a great goalkeeper. But Chilivert isn't just a tough character. Chilivert is also very politically engaged. As gifted at playing football as he is denouncing politicians misbehaving, in 1999, he refused to play the Copa America in his own country, Paraguay. 
He believed the Paraguayan government should use the money for education and its citizens' health, instead of organizing a competition. In 2017, the same again. He opposed co-hosting of the World Cup by Paraguay for the same reasons. Beliefs he's had for a long time and still holds. Motivated by his success on the pitch, El Chila quickly considered a career change. In the 1990s, he was already talking about becoming a politician, promising to end poverty in Paraguay. After my football career, in my 40s, I'll be voted president of the republic. In December 2020, he turned this promise into an objective. He announced that he was running in the 2023 presidential elections. Maybe he was inspired by George Weah, who is president of Liberia. But his priorities seem very different to those of the former Milan player. In his eyes, Donald Trump and Jair Bolsonaro are good examples to follow. Trump is doing great work in the United States. Bolsonaro is what we need in South America. Beyond his political opinions, Chilibert wants to change a lot of things. His main battleground? Corruption. In 2018, he called out the president of Conmebol, who he was openly suspicious of. I've heard this awful character Alejandro Dominguez say that the match should be delayed for the spectacle, but he never mentioned the players. The fact that these human beings are alive doesn't interest him. It's just the bill that's important. Dominguez was Juan Angel Napo's lieutenant, detained in the United States for being involved in corruption in the FIFA gate scandal. He's proved today that he's incapable. That's why Jose Luis wants to rule his country with strength and determination. That's how Chilivert wants to launch the uprising. Throughout his life, Jose Luis Chilivert has always refused to fit the mold. Tenacious in his game, his words, and his political projects. His ideas are controversial, perhaps worse. But what we can't take away from him is that Chilivert is still what he always was as a player, a character in his own right. He wants to use his image and his impact to change things. Loved by his people when he defended the Albirroja's goal, he's not as popular as he used to be. Jose Luis Chilibert says he wants to give back what he received during his playing career, recognition. If he becomes Paraguay's president in 2023, he wants to get rid of all his country's problems. To eradicate all of them, he plans to use as much determination as in the past on the football pitch even if he has to use controversial means. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like and please subscribe to the channel. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments.